I'm Carol Vorderman and this is Perfect 10, your daily brain workout to help you mentally hit the ground running every single day. We've got puzzles and brain teasers to educate, to entertain and to irritate the life out of you. So make sure you subscribe, you follow and you like to get the next episode as soon as it drops. And if you spend a few minutes with us every single day, I guarantee you will feel smarter and sharper by the end of the week. Plus, you might learn a few interesting facts to impress your friends with at the weekend. Don't forget to head on over to at Perfect 10 Carol on social media for even more quizzy fun with exclusive content over there and bonus questions dropping every single day. So join me and the rest of the Perfect 10 family on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. You know what we say, there is always room for one more in the family. First things first, though, at the end of yesterday's show, I asked you, which London landmark is an anagram of a much capable king? Oh, believe it or not, a much capable king is an anagram of Buckingham Palace. <laughs> well done, if you got that one right. No points, though, for our anagrams. That was just a little bit of homework to keep your mind ticking over between podcasts. But now... Let's get that mind moving and start today's Perfect 10. Let's go. Question one, your starter for a Perfect 10. Which journey covers the longest distance as the crow flies? Is it London to New York or New York to Los Angeles? Two very long journeys, but which one is longer? Question two is the audio mystery we call hearsay. Which well-known phrase or saying is hidden in these sounds? Oh, here we are on the allotment, but uh, I do wish I knew what that digging implement was called. Uh, the one with the flat head and the uh, wooden handle. Wish I knew what that was called. Really do. So say, shout it out what you hear, hear say, and you can't go far wrong. Answers, as always, after the final question. Question three, Carol lateral thinking. If today is Thursday, what day of the week will it be 19 days from now? Quick maths for Thursday. See how quickly you can get the answer. And if you're playing in the office or with the family at home, let me know who got the answer the fastest and the slowest, (laughs) because that's quite funny. Time now to put your memory to the test. So open your ears, listen closely to all the details in this clip, because I will have a question for you at the end of it. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Who have we got coming in today? Well, we've got Mr. Andrews coming in with his gerbil at 10 a.m. for some dental work. Then Father Babbage will be in at 11.30 with Rosie. Apparently the poor pup has an upset tummy. You'll need to pick Lizzie up from her school trip at 12.30, so lunch is clear. But you need to be back for 3pm when Judy from the cafe down the road is bringing Nibbler, her rabbit, for a checkup. I said you'd take a look. He's been off his parsnips apparently, poor thing. We close at 4pm today, so just enough time to go through those new registrations before we lock up. Six new cats this week. That's almost a record. I hope you were listening. Because here comes your question four. What kind of animal is booked in at 3 p.m.? It's all in the clip, but can you remember the information you need? Questions five, six, and seven are all part of the same family. The frivolous, the familiar, and the fun set of questions. Testing your knowledge of the everyday. So have you been paying attention? Well, let's find out, shall we? Here is your question five. In which cartoon series would you find characters called Fred, Velma, and Daphne? Moving on, question six. The logo for which app features a white telephone in a speech bubble on a green background? Question seven, and this one is about sport. Wolfie and Wendy are the furry mascots for which Premier League football team? Bit of a clue in the names, I think, Wolfie and Wendy. You'll need your word head on for this as it's the round we call one in, one out, question eight. Which letter can you change in the word claw, C-L-A-W, to make a type of seafood? Okay, ready for the next question. We call question nine, I know, I know this, as it's a question that can always be solved with a little touch of logic. 
which is the only UK nation not to be represented in the Union flag. And here we are, question 10, the final question of the day, as always, our daily riddle. If Teresa's daughter is my daughter's mother, what am I to Teresa? It sounds simple, but apparently over 90% of people get this wrong on their first attempt. So come on, tenors, prove them wrong. And there you have it. Another perfect 10. Well done. If you need to rewind, now is the time to do so because the answers are coming up very shortly. But don't forget, in the meantime, to like and subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's questions. And if you want to entertain, educate and irritate me, please send me your puzzles too at Perfect 10 Carol. We love hearing from you and getting all your videos and pictures. So get in touch, please. And we'll post all of our favorites on our socials. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in 10 minutes. But did you score a perfect 10 today? This is where you find out. Good luck. Question one, I started with this. Which journey covers the longest distance as the crow flies? Is it London to New York or New York to Los Angeles? And the answer at 3,461 miles is London to New York. The distance between New York and Los Angeles, LA, while still long, is just 2,450 miles. Question two was hearsay. I asked you which well-known phrase or saying was hidden in these sounds. Oh, here we are on the allotment, but uh, I do wish I knew what that digging implement was called. There. Uh, the one with the flat head and the uh, wooden handle. Wish I knew what that was called. And the phrase I was looking for was, call a spade a spade. Well done if you got that right. Question three, Carol Lateral Thinking. If today is Thursday, what day of the week will it be 19 days from now? It will be a Tuesday. See you there with another round of perfect 10, by the way. Question four was our memory question, where we found ourselves at the vets and I asked you, what kind of animal is booked in at 3 p.m.? Oh, could you remember? The answer was the rabbit. The rabbit is the answer I'm after. And now we move into our three Fs, the familiar, the frivolous, and the fun. Question five. In which cartoon series would you find characters called Fred, Velma, and Daphne? Well, along with Shaggy and Scooby, they are Mystery Incorporated, the ghost hunters from... Scooby-Doo. And have you ever wondered where the name Scooby-Doo comes from? Well, in an interview, the series creator explained how he was on a red-eye flight to LA and, I'm quoting, as we were landing, Frank Sinatra's Strangers in the Night came on the PA and I hear him say, Scooby-Dooby-Doo. And I said, that's it. We'll call it Scooby-Doo. I like that story. Question six, the logo for which app features a white telephone in a speech bubble on a green background? And the answer is WhatsApp. Gosh, we all use it, don't we? WhatsApp has a whopping two billion users around the globe, sending over 100 billion messages every single day. Wow. Question seven, Wolfie and Wendy are the furry mascots for which Premier League football team? Well, even if you're not a massive football fan, I think there's a good chance you might have got a point here. Wolfie and Wendy are the furry mascots of Wolverhampton Wanderers. It's all the was, all the W's. Question eight was one in, one out. Which letter can you change in the word claw to make a type of seafood? Well, if you change the letter W for a letter M, you get the word clam, C-L-A-M, clam, which of course is a type of of seafood. Question nine. I know I know this, but did you? I asked, which is the only UK nation not to be represented in the Union flag? And the answer is Wales. I know because I am Welsh. So I'm going to read out the answer. <clears throat> this is because when the first Union flag was created in 1606, Wales my country, was called a principality and it was already united with England and was no longer a separate so-called principality. It's actually a country. 
Uh, but anyway, the answer to that question is Wales. And finally, question 10. If Teresa's daughter is my daughter's mother, what am I to Teresa? Well, I am Teresa's daughter. So if Teresa's daughter is my daughter's mother, then my daughter's mother is me. Trust me, I am Teresa's daughter. So how did you do? Did you score a perfect 10? If not, don't worry. There's always another chance tomorrow. Every day spent with the Perfect 10 family is a day where you've given your mind a good old workout. And maybe you've learned something along the way. I know I have. Anyway, let us know how you did. Send us your scores. We love seeing how everyone is doing. Come and be part of the family by following us on at Perfect 10 Carol on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. We've got lots of daily content over there to keep your brain ticking over between episodes. Join us, please. We're actually a lovely bunch. Honestly, we are. I will be back tomorrow with 10 more questions. But before I say goodbye, I'll leave you with today's anagram. Which animated double act is an anagram of allocated warming? Allocated, A L L. O-C-A-T-E-D, allocated, warming, W-A-R-M-I-N-G. Well, find the answer out tomorrow when it's a whole new day of questions, riddles and puzzles. I'm Carol Vordman. That was my perfect time for you. I hope you have a perfect day. <laughs> <laughs>